Hi, it's Hannah Schooner or Schooner or Later, and in this video I break down the alignments in D&D to help you better roleplay your character truthfully. Thank you. Alignments in D&D and roleplaying true to them. First, what are alignments? Alignments guide how your character acts and responds to situations throughout your campaign or your one-shot or whatever your character is experiencing. The alignments describe the character's ethics and moral code. So, an alignment chart. In Dungeons & Dragons, there are nine alignments. There are three ethical positions, being lawful, neutral, and chaotic. And there are three moral positions, being good, neutral, and evil. And the alignment chart is different combinations of the three ethical positions and the three moral positions. So let's break them down. First, lawful good, crusader. Lawful good characters follow the rules, do the right thing as expected by society. Justice is very important to lawful good characters, and they hate when people get away with breaking the rules. As a result, however, they can be pretty inflexible in their beliefs. Examples of lawful good characters are Superman and Captain America. Next, neutral good. Neutral good characters do good things because they want to, not because it's expected of them. They care less about the law and more about what is right. They generally follow the rules because rules usually lead to good things, not because they feel obligated to follow them. Neutral good examples in pop culture are Harry Potter and Gandalf. Next, chaotic good, or the rebel. Chaotic good characters follow their conscience. They will help and defend those who are being oppressed or negatively affected by the law. They break the rules for the sake of doing what is right. Now, chaotic good examples include Robin Hood, whatever version of Robin Hood that you're familiar with, it's all the same, and Toph from Avatar The Last Airbender. Next, we have Lawful Neutral. Lawful Neutral characters behave in a way that matches the authority or traditions that they follow. This could be a religion or just a very specific traditional society. Now, these traditions can be seen as good or evil by others, and that's why they're neutral. They don't care about what others think of their actions, only that they're following their personal code. So it doesn't care if their actions end up hurting people, if it means following their code or doing what is right with their code. Lawful neutral examples are Natasha Romanoff or Black Widow from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Grim Reaper from Mythology. Next we have True Neutral or Undecided. A true neutral character usually doesn't like to take sides on an issue. They don't believe in following the rules and laws of society, but they also don't feel the need to blatantly rebel against them. They'll choose the side that causes the least hassle. However, because they're in the middle of the alignment chart, it is super easy if they do several evil choices in a row and several good choices in a row to teeter-totter um, to a more um, neutral good or neutral evil sort of alignment. Because they don't like to take sides, they can often appear apathetic about important situations. True neutral examples include Tom from Tom and Jerry and Oscar from Shark Tale. Um, Oscar kind of teetered on the alignment chart a little bit throughout the movie, but he began as true neutral at least. Chaotic neutral characters are free spirits. They don't like being told what to do, they will take the action that guarantees their continued freedom, and they would rather avoid restrictions altogether than actively fight against them. Chaotic neutral examples in pop culture are Deadpool and Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. First, lawful evil, Dominator. Lawful evil characters operate with a strict code of laws and traditions that are more important than anything, even the lives of others. They enforce their system through brutality and violence. Anyone who doesn't follow their code will be punished. They feel no guilt, mercy, or remorse, and they often don't even feel that they themselves are evil. Lawful examples in pop culture include Darth Vader and Lord Farquaad from Trek. Um, Dolores Umbridge is a very close second. Next, neutral evil. Neutral evil characters are selfish. Their actions are driven by greed or revenge. They may make alliances, but it will only be to further their agendas, and they'll betray at the first opportunity once they've gotten what they want. They will hurt others if it follows their agenda, but they won't hurt people for no apparent reason. These characters only care about themselves. Neutral evil examples in pop culture include Randall from Monsters, Inc. and Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. 
last chaotic evil or destroyers. Chaotic evil characters hurt out of hatred or fun. They prefer to work alone because they don't work well with others. They may have the desire to spread chaos or evil simply because it brings them enjoyment. They seek to destroy pretty much everything. Chaotic evil examples in pop culture include Red Skull from Marvel Cinematic Universe and the comics and Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. So picking your alignment. How do you pick your alignment? Well, first, I would say think about who you want your character to be and think about your party. How do you want your character to fit in the party? Do you want them to be a team player and be heavily involved with the group and camaraderie aspect? Or do you want them to kind of operate on their own and they're, they're with a the group because it's beneficial to them? Just think about these things. You can also take an alignment test. Wizards of the Coast has a great alignment test online. It might be a little lengthy, but I think it's well worth it. And uh, references. So I used easydamas.com and mykindofmeeple.com. These sites are great resources of explaining alignments, and they have further articles on each alignment if you wish to look those up. Thank you so much.